So I created a magic prompt that can turn any idea into a stunning website in a matter of minutes using Canva's new AI chatbot. In fact, this is so powerful that even if you have no design or coding experience, you can create a full-fledged website for yourself, for your business, or for any of your clients with just a few clicks. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what this magic prompt is and how you can get started using it with just a few clicks. Now to do this, we are going to be using Canva's new AI chatbot. And this is going to do all the coding and heavy lifting for us. But before we can actually put this to work, we need to create the prompt or prepare the prompt that we're going to put in here so that this can create the exact website that we want. So this is the prompt right here. And as you can see, this is quite dense. There's a lot going on here. But what I did was I put in these placeholders that you can fill in with exactly what you want your website to look like. But I understand that this is a lot. So what I did was I actually created for you an entire prompt builder. So this is a website you can go onto and you'll just answer all these questions and it'll output a complete prompt that we can then use for Canva AI. So let me show you how this works. So this is it right here. In order to access this, you can click on the first link in the description down below. You'll land on a page that looks like this. Just enter in your email and then you'll be able to access the prompt builder. Now this is very easy to use. The first thing I'll do is click where it says get started and we'll begin to answer all these questions. So first it asks, what type of business is this for? So let's say I'm going to start a dog walking business. So I'm gonna say dog walking and then I'll click on next. And then it says, what is your business name? Now I have not created a name for this business yet. I'm not sure what I want it to be. So for now, I'm just gonna select here where it says you choose for me. And that's going to allow Canva AI to actually come up with a name for me. And because it is AI, it does a pretty good job of it. And if we're unhappy with it, we can always change it later. So then it says, what design style would you prefer? So I want one that's very playful. I don't want it to be too professional looking. I don't want it to be too modern, just very playful. Cause I think that would make a good look for a dog walking website. I'll click on next for that one. Now for the color scheme, this is something else I don't excel at. So again, I'm gonna choose you choose for me. And then it says, what graphic would you like in the hero section? So this is at the top of your website. There's gonna be a graphic there. What do you want the graphic to look like? So I'm just gonna put in here a dog, keep it pretty simple. And then what services do you offer? So you can choose up to three separated by commas. So I'm gonna do dog walking, I will do house sitting, and I'll do nature hikes with the dogs. That's pretty good. Next question, what graphic would you like in the about section? So this is about halfway down, there's gonna be an about section and there'll be another graphic in there. So again, I'm gonna choose here dog, but this time on leash and then I'll click on next. Then you can enter in your business phone number. Now, if you don't want your phone number on the website, you can just click here where it says don't include, which is what I'm going to do. Then I'll enter in my business email so that customers can contact me. So put in my email and next. And then it says, what is your Facebook page? The next question will be a similar one about Instagram. If you ever noticed at the bottom of websites, there's a little Facebook logo, the little Instagram logo. And if you click on that, it brings it over to the brand's Facebook or Instagram page. This is what that's for. Now, I don't have one for my business yet, so I'm just gonna click don't include. But just for an example, I'll just put in here dog walking. So we'll see what it looks like in this case. And once I'm done here, I'll click where it says generate prompt. And it generated the prompt for me. And I can click right here, and this will actually copy it to my clipboard. So hopefully that made it very easy for you to create the prompt. And now we can just jump over to Canva AI and let it do all of the coding for us. So I'm here on canva.com and you'll notice that when you log in, you'll see this box up here where you can design whatever you want. You wanna select where it says Canva AI. That will unlock it for you. Now you notice there's a bunch of different choices down here, like you can have it designed for you, create an image for you, draft a document for you. You don't actually have to choose. You can just paste in here the prompt because that's telling it exactly what you want it to do, which is to build a website. And then you don't have to change anything. We'll click on submit. And you'll now notice that it's coding your website on the side of your page. Now you don't have to know coding, just let it do its thing. It's gonna take about three to four minutes. And then we're going to fine tune it because it's never perfect. A lot of times it messes up the graphics, but luckily it's very easy to fix that. So while we're waiting for this to do its magic, if you're enjoying this video so far, if you appreciate that I created this prompt builder for you, please consider giving this video a thumbs up 
and subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out and lets me know that you want more content like this. All right, so it's been about three or four minutes and you see it is now complete. So we no longer see code, we see the actual website. Now I'll talk about the graphics in a moment. I did mention that before, it often gets them wrong. But if you notice the rest of the website is, is here, it all works. Like if I click here where it says services, that will bring me to the services section about, brings us to the about section. It fills in all of this sales copy for us. It even adds a get in touch section that has my email, business hours, service area, and how to book a service with a button to email us. So everything is fully responsive, everything works here. We even have a privacy policy that pops up and a terms of service that pops up. Now this is not perfect yet. There's a few things you might wanna change and you can change any of this just using natural language inside of the Canva chatbot. Now, obviously one of the first things we wanna change are these graphics. This is pretty horrendous, right? And, and like I said, that is one of the weaknesses of, of Canva. It does tend to do this a lot. So what I'll do is I'm going to tell it to actually make these changes. So what I told it to do is to change the graphics in the hero and the about us section. So you, you definitely wanna identify which section you are changing. The one up here is called the hero, but every other section is labeled. So this is the services section. This is the about us section, for instance. So I said to change the graphics in both those sections. And I said, let's make both of them a more cartoon style dog. Please look, make them look like real cartoon dogs and nothing too abstract. And we'll see if that produces a better result. All right, so here's what we've come up with now. The graphics actually look like dogs now. And so now you wanna do the same thing. You wanna go through everything in here and just make sure it's exactly the way that you want. So if you're unhappy with this copy, for instance, you can tell it, hey, in the About Us section, change the copy so it says this instead. If you want a different email in here, you can tell it that. If you want different business hours, just use natural language inside of here and tell it exactly what you want. And make sure you spend a lot of time going over this because it's really hard to change it later once you are finished with it and actually export it to a website. Uh, it's just a little bit challenging to make any edits later. But once you have things exactly the way that you want, and I am pretty happy with this, you can now click on the top right here where it says use in a design. And then you wanna click where it says website. That will then open it up in a new tab. And here it is in a design. If you notice, if you click on this, double click on it, you'll still be able to interact with it. It's the same exact thing we were just looking at. Now you can't make any changes in here like you normally would, like I can highlight this, but I can't actually change the text. It's sort of like it's embedded on here. So there's no changes you can make from this point on. But if you see something you're unhappy with, just go back to the other tab, make those changes again, and do the same thing where you click on use in a design. But assuming you're all happy with it, you can now click on the top left here where it says publish website. Now there's a few different options here when it comes to publishing a website. Any, any Canva account gets a free Canva domain. It's whatever you want, my, .canva site. So I'm gonna put in here Paul J. Lipsky, so that's my name. So that's my Canva site. If you go to pauljlipsky.my.canva.site, you'll probably see this happy, trail, happy Tales dog walking business. Or you can set up a custom domain by clicking right here. Now, when it comes to custom domains, there are a few choices. You can either bring in your own domain, which will definitely be the cheaper option, or if you want the really streamlined, easy way of doing things, you can buy a new domain, but it is gonna cost you a little bit more, but it's only like $19 a year. For, for now at least. But I'm gonna stick with the free one, so I'm gonna close out of this, click again on publish, and I'll use my free site. Now just know that for the free sites, you only get one free address per website, per Canva account, I should say. So even if I make other websites using Canva, I'll always have the same URL. It would just be a different like Paul J. Lipsky Canva site slash dog walking or slash cat sitting or whatever it is. And over here, there's some extra settings, but you don't wanna change anything in here. You wanna leave it exactly the way that it is. Click on continue to publish and publish. And congratulations, your website is now live. You can click right here to view it. And here is my dog walking website. So pretty fast to get that whole thing done. Now, if you want multiple pages to your website, like let's say when you click up here, you want it to actually bring you to a different page instead of just scrolling down. Let me show you how to do that. This is optional, of course you don't have to do this, but it does unlock a lot of possibilities. So let's return back to Canva and I'll click right here where it says create. 
And again, we'll put in here a website and this time I'll just select this and I'll choose a nice template on the side. So maybe like this one and I'll just select one of these pages that I want to use as a template. Now in this case, what I'm going to be doing is actually setting up a contact form. So I'm going to call this contact us and I'll just move it up here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I just kind of want to show you how this works. Let me go ahead and delete everything. Now for a contact form, there is an app, a third party app inside of Canva that you can use. So to access that, you wanna click over here where it says apps and you wanna search for the one called Fluid Forms. This is it right here, Fluid Forms. Now on the free plan, you get to create one form completely for free. So I'm gonna call this one Dog Walking Contact Form. And then for the response destination, that's your email address. That means anything that someone puts in this form will be sent to your email address. So I entered in my email and then you can click on questions and you can enter in all the questions that you wanna ask. So I'll just do this real quick. Like I'll do a short answer with your name. And then I did another one for your email and another one where I just said, how can I help you? And they'll be able to put in anything that they want. And then I'll click where it says add to design. And there's the form right there. Now th this one is kind of ugly. Of course you can change the design. You can click right here and actually change the way that it looks. But for purposes of this, this is more than fine. We'll just keep it like this because I just want to demonstrate how you can now link this to the website that you've already created. So now that we have this contact us form, you again want to click up here where it says publish website. And this time you'll notice that we already have the site address, right? You can't choose a new one. You're using the one you already have. And they automatically add what's called a slug here. So this is the slug is everything that comes after the slash. In this case, it's contact us but you can always change that by clicking the pencil. Let's say you just wanna change it to contact. So it's just like that. And then I'll click on publish. And now I will go ahead and copy down that link. Copy. Now I'm gonna return back to Canva AI over here. And this time I'm going to tell it, hey, when you get to the get in touch section, I want you to add a button for a contact form. So I said in the get in touch section, add a button for a contact form that points to this site and then I paste it in that URL and then I'll click on submit. So now that it's done coding again, you'll notice that we now have a new button, it's this contact form. And if we click on this, that will then open up a new tab with the contact form. And obviously you can do this for anything else if you wanna to link to any other pages. Very easy to do with natural language inside of Canva AI. So there you go. That's a complete guide on how you can create a stunning website using nothing but my prompt generator and Canva AI, even if you have no coding experience. Now, if you're curious about any other Canva tools or want to know how I was able to create that entire prompt generator using Canva, let me know that in the comments section down below. Then make sure to click on this video because inside of this one, I show you my favorite Canva AI tools that are completely changing the game with how we use Canva. And honestly, I'm amazed that some of these tools exist already and that we're able to use them inside of Canva. So make sure to click on this video and I'll see you there in just one second.